guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Caroline von Petzl. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Caroline von Petzl Entertainment Show. Okay, so without further ado, I'm right now on a road trip. I'm right now in Arkansas in the south, and we are right now in Blatchett Springs. Right here, you can see it, Blatchett Springs. <laughs> And what am I doing in Bletchard Springs? Well, let me tell you what I'm doing. Bletchard Springs has the most amazing, beautiful, mind-blowing cave. Sa Sa how do you say it? Severin? Severin? It has the most amazing cavern in whole North America. And this is my very first time in my life that my feet is standing on Arkansas ground. And we're gonna go into that Blanchard Springs Cavern Caves and we're gonna see the beautiful rock formation in a cave. Now, I've never been in a cave before. This is amazing. This is like something I always wanted to do but never had the chance to do and now on a road trip this is now possible. So we drove here like I think like over like a thousand miles to see this cave and right there is the visitor center so we'll go in we have our reservation booked and we'll be on a tour and the tour is there's like four different tours this is the dripstone tour it's just an hour and I'm gonna film everything for you so you can see these beautiful caves it's also very very cold this is like almost like 40 degrees right now which is basically like what 40 degrees is like 10 Celsius or something. It's cold here. I'm like all, all like puff up in my, my <coughs> jacket. I'm also having a cold, but I still want to do this. Okay, so let's go to the visit center and get our reservation um, all set up and let's go on this tour. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any episode. And let's go. Okay guys, I just put on my jacket. I bought this for this purpose. <coughs> I don't want to get more sick. So let's just keep me nice, warm and cozy. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so we're entering right now the visitor center. On the door. Hello. Good, we're here. <laughs> Good, we have a reservation for the drip storm. At 11 o'clock? At 11 o'clock. Okay, all right. Just see, uh, Tisha, she'll get your tickets printed off. And okay. we'll leave here in about 40 minutes. In 40 minutes. Uh -huh. Perfect, thank you. Hi. Okay. There's a war eagle, Tarvin. Hi, we have a reservation book for the dripstone. Okay, you have an 11 o'clock? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how many are with your Two. Dinner? Wow, this looks amazing. Why do you need to Wow, I'm gonna definitely take this for sure as a souvenir with me. We're right here in Arkansas, right here in the south. We <laughs> south. I don't have you in my video. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Cave exploration. These are stalactites, rock formations often ages in the making. They are formed by the lime that the acid water dissolves as it travels down through the limestone. A young stalactite is hollow, about the shape and width of a soda straw. They grow longer, up to six feet, with each drop of water coming down through the empty tube. 
water that evaporates, leaving its cargo of lime behind. When the tubes become clogged, then the water has to come down the outside surface, making the stalactites grow fatter. All right, guys, ready. Man-made entrance right there. Thank you. This is the best time of year to come, small groups. Right. Wow, that's hey, has anybody been here before? Is everybody first time? Or? First time. Okay, well, my name's Shane, and I do. I know I talk kind of fast, so slow me down if you need to. Um, but um, what we're going to do is go on the Dripstone Trail, and just a few rules to go through up here. You know, we'll get you in the cave as quick as we can because that's what you guys came to see. But basically, we just can't eat or drink anything in the cave. Take your food and water with us. Um, you know, you can't have any tobacco products down below. Um, we ask that you not touch the cave because. Uh, as many people, you know, we bring 83,000 people on average to do a year, so if everyone tests the cave, then suddenly we get damaged. You got some oils on your hands, getting up oils on the formations, they quit growing and things like that. So, and then you can break stuff. So, we're going to be right at the size of the formation. You guys get a really good look at it, but we just have that you to refrain from touching. All right. So, do you guys got any questions before we go? Pretty slow this time of year. Um, kind of figure out what we'll do. We'll see through there. There's another group down below where, you know, summertime you come here, we go every 20 minutes, so it's kind of in and out, and people are. You know, we'll probably pass another group of people here, so we're just going to kind of ease through here. There's a couple places we'll stop, and I'll turn on some lights, and, um, you know, you guys can give all that information if you want it. If you don't want it, we can just walk through and uh, talk about anything else, or we'll just let you guys look at the cave for sure. But uh, this is the first question that I think you had was, this is not a natural opening. This is really, there's a little over eight miles of cave here. Wow. And Miles we're going to go, you know, if you go to the exhibit hall, we'll, we'll, we're up front, we can kind of show you a map of it. Um, but uh, we're at the very top level, and what we're going into wasn't discovered until 1963 because there's no oil means to the surface. There's actually probably, there's only about not quite a half a mile of passage, just a little about a half a mile of passageway up here. You know, most of that, that's other seven half miles to down below and a couple additional levels there. And uh, so this remained hidden for quite some time. I have a question. Uh -huh. I read online this is the most beautiful cave in North America. Is it true? Well, a lot of people think it is, and we think it is. I mean, what you've got, the, the geology, the stratus laid out just right, or you've got some um, lateral movement of water, where the water is like running sideways and then it uh, just pours down the wall. So you've got like, you know, over a thousand feet of this continuous crystal decoration. Of the geology. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, and it's pretty, very pristine because, you know, it was remained hidden for so long until mm -hmm. 1963. So you didn't have anybody coming in and out to uh, removing formations for souvenirs or just you know, mm -hmm. doing things like that. Right. Untouched. So, okay. So we think it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. but we're probably a little biased here. So let's quit talking about it. If everybody's good to go, mm -hmm. um, no bathrooms down below. Probably shouldn't have said that. Make somebody go. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get with the get in the cave. That's what you came to see. And then you can be the judge and tell me how pretty it is. It's <laughs> 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 the prettiest. <laughs> Now the visitor center guys on top of the, this ridge here is going to, we're going to go down 21 stories to get you in the cave. 21 stories. Now. How much meters is that? 70, I think. 70, 70 meters? meters. 70 <laughs> stories like 15 feet, right? 10. 10? Okay, yeah. 10. It's about it's sky It's like, it's it's like a size It's more than one. Wow. And what we do what, around here, there, you know, we have pretty deep valleys. This is a big plateau. It's not really the folding mountains like in the Appalachians or the Rockies, but um, we have this big dome plateau uplifted and the water dissected the valleys. So we do have a bit of relief around here, but really it just depends on where we're out in these hills. You know, we're kind of in the center of the hill right now and we're going to walk down a little lower and we'll get about 250 feet, which is convert that to meters. I don't know what it would be, maybe 80 meters. I don't know. Um, so it would be below the surface. That's, and that's kind of the right. deepest point. We'll just we'll just keep walking like back to the west. And as we do, the hill above us is going to start sloping downward. So we won't, you know, we won't be quite as deep. And then we'll walk out the back and get on the bus. Or we may decide to walk back there. That's me. I'll be the last. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. A little bigger than what you thought it'd be? 
Yeah. yeah. Even better. Yeah, the, the top level guys really this, this we call this a cathedral room and uh, the other room we're going to is the core room, but basically it's just two big rooms. This guy right here is kind of I don't want to say U shape, maybe shaped like a banana, but this is about it's about four football fields long, so it's almost it's about eleven hundred and sixty feet. So it's a pretty good sized room. Well this ease on down that you guys look around. Wow. Oh, that's the more fun. Are you standing and down below us as we walk down this uh, go down the trail here, you look off to your right and look at the blue light bulb. That blue light bulb is a passageway that connects the two levels. If we were able to go through it, you'd come out the ceiling with a room down below us and it's 150 feet to the floor. So it just took them a bit to figure out that passageway was there. And if you come out in the summertime with the bad start down there, then we could just take these stairs you're going to see. We could take in that part of the cave. And that, that's where we would go underneath the natural entrance. And that's where we would walk right above the stream. Uh, walk on the stream there. That, that you can go see the folks out at Blanchard Spring. And uh, the way out of the cave is a vertical shaft. It's about a 70 foot rappel once you get down in it. And it's about a half mile that way. So that's the only way in and out that we know is only a mile that we found so far. So how did they discover the cave? Like, what was the way? Was it like technology or like what kind of, how did they? No, they discovered it in the 60s. So this is just guys uh, in the 50s, um, you know, that did a lot of caving growing up in the area. Yeah. Um, you can find this, if you go to the springs, you guys been to where the water all into out of the cave? Uh, no. Nah. We'll oh. see any there after with this length of springs. This is where all the water discharges from the cave. So that spring drains about 25 square miles. So it's pretty good. You know, it should be flowing pretty good today. Right. With all the rainfall we've had. <laughs> but one half mile up the hollow. Get the line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get up front here. Just uh, kind of stay with me. I'll give you guys plenty of time to take pictures. We'll just ease through here. I'll okay. stop a few more times. If you got questions, um, just let me know. Mm -hmm.
lot of times we talked about right here, you know, you know, you're underground, people's concerned about earthquakes, like movement down below and the rock layers of rock, and you know, we talked about the calcite you held in your hand. Uh, maybe if you can, you know, you, it's delicate, you could break it, and you could definitely break these guys right here that are attached to the floor and the ceiling. So we kind of use this to show you there's really not any movement down here. You know, we're pretty close to the fault line, we measured fault line. You guys see that dark pile right there? Uh -huh. That's all poop. That big old thing? Where? Holy hell. That's all bat poop? That's all bat poop. Oh, a lot of nutrition, too. Mm -hmm. see, they, so they used to roost, you know, here. And obviously they roosted there for, well, you know, for several generations, for several years. So uh -huh. for that much poop to accumulate that one spot. Mm -hmm. And then they stopped using it. So yeah. probably in the past there was opening to the surface people were actually getting out of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll see another pile. I'll get you closer to it. It's interested in that. So that's, that's a lot of poop. That's bad so you chased them out? Or? No, we didn't chase them out. The pile's not been active for quite some time. Okay. Uh, what I was saying is, maybe a few hundred years ago, you come here, there was another way in. Uh, is this structure natural? It's natural, yes. It's a, and it's a dome. I don't really have any um, explanation for why it's perfectly round like that. It's really cool, <laughs> but it's just a, it's just a, you know, the, the domed out ceiling, like whenever the water's not there to support it, mm -hmm. and just, you know, which is a very stable structure, you know, we, we copied it in our architecture, so. Large one, and it takes a, you know, Four and five years of crystal formation. You see, you got that layer of shale right here. You got some water moving around down the wall. So that's, this is the shaft meant to the surface. It's 138 feet. And, and if you want to step in there, you can, but you're going to get wet today. Take a shot. But you're welcome to look up there if you want to. Not if it's spring, you consider it spring water, but it's, it's water that hits the surface that filters down through the layers of rock. They so had to dig this wall out, so there's some spar in here. It's calcite, um, just a little bit different structure, but you can see, you see how clear it really is? I mean, it's not, you know, we got a lot of colors in some of the formations, but wow. And then there's probably some better, here's some better right wow. here, see? And it's not quartz, I know it looks like quartz, but yeah, it's, it's, like cal quartz. it's calcite. Crystals. Yeah, like the Crystals are underneath. Yeah. Yeah. So all this is just, you know, this entire layer, this the, the aragonite and then the, the coral, you know, all this is just deposited right on top of the clay. Uh -huh. So it's just really a thin layer. Mm -hmm. It's 750 feet from if you go around the corner all the way to where we came in at. The natural passageway comes out underneath that wall. So if you wonder how we get power down here, this, this is camera for our cable. And then power line. See, that's where the transformer's on the surface. So that's how they got power into the cable. Yeah. Here's the waterfall. Oh, this is not yeah. the place I can tell you. I bring you here an hour after it starts raining this waterfall. Otherwise, you know, if it's not raining outside, then this is dry. Oh, yeah.
So it was raining all night. So it's a pretty hot waterfall here. Or well, the water could have been too. Probably the water's too acidic right here. It actually started dissolving the formation away. Yeah. And this is all poop. All poop. <gasps> Bat poop? Bat poop. Bat poop. It looks like soil though. Is it fertilized? Oh, it, it, is, it is very potent yeah. fertilizer, yes. So and they you, all sleep there. And you can make gunpowder out of it. It's got oh, salt. Really? Yeah, you can extract salt for and you make gunpowder out of it. Yes. Yeah. Do you sell them? No, we don't sell them. No, we leave it here. This is what I'm talking about. This is surface gravel. This shouldn't be down this well. So um, in the past, probably an opening back here. That's probably why you got all these guano piles. On the inside, they're all that, you know, fairly clear white huh. crystal. All the impurities are kind of on the outside of them. Interesting. And you, and you saw that in a couple of different places there. The layers. Oh, with ice chunks. On the end, they're hollow, and eventually they, you know, the, the calcite, uh, the, it continues to, to deposit, and it grows uh, the seals can end up and they start getting this carrot shape. There it is. Oh. See right that balcony area that she had all the lights turned on? Oh, that's the shield. Do you see the shield really well right here? Yeah. So, this is, you know, it's a key point for this, huh? the same spot we stopped earlier. Is it possible? See, remember, we've been seeing a lot of reds, but there's a lot of grays on that uh, flowstone there in the balcony.
What a great experience. Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Comment below. And yeah, comment below. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.